hey beautiful welcome to another video my name is Namalina Robertson and today we have a collective luxury haul none of these items have been purchased by myself they're either gifts from a friend or they are either from Joanna from bye bye stations she's a personal shopper on Instagram and I'm really excited to share these items with you guys some of them are new items and some items I've actually had for some time majority of the items I have used at least once so I can actually give you my feedback and my opinion on the items first we have my new bracelet from Vincleve and this is what the packaging looks like I've seen the conversations on TikTok about Vincleve changing their packaging which is just shocking to me and I've actually seen a lot of people are now starting to go to jewelers and getting this item made a lot of these luxury designer brands just sell costume jewelry so the actual materials don't really have a value you're really just buying the brand and the look and this is what it looks like I am obsessed with my new bracelet this is 18k white gold and this is the five motives bracelet and hopefully I will also get the gold one soon Next up, I have a new bag from Chanel that I was very excited about. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous girl. I was so excited about this bag, but the reality of it is just not fun for me. I am not built for this level of care. This bag is so sensitive. This is the classic double flap lambskin leather, which is where I went wrong. And this is the medium size with silver hardware. So really what I wanted was a nice, simple bag that is black and has silver hardware. Because I will show you guys the YSL bag that I've been wearing that's black that has gold hardware, which has really been great. But I really wanted something with silver hardware. So this is what it looks like. It is a double flap, which now I know is not for me. Double flap for me is just not fun or practical for me like I don't like opening it it's really really irritating so it has the zip over there and then you also have the second flap you have a pocket over here you have a pocket on the inside this is apparently for a lipstick none of my lipsticks fit in here so I don't know if you need a Chanel lipstick um, but yeah I cannot stand this bag also it does not have a top handle um, I thought I would be okay with this whole you know um, but really it's just it is very very irritating a lot of times I end up just walking around like this which is fine for Dubai because Dubai is very safe um, but yeah I find this whole mechanism very very irritating and then the lambskin is very very fragile this chain over here can easily dent this item I love the size though the size is very cute you can get a lot in here it's really great to wear on a regular basis but the double flap is not for me lambskin leather is just too much work for somebody like me I do not take care of my items I want something that is low maintenance and this is just too much for me and I feel more comfortable with a top handle bag and this brings me to the love of my life this is my other Chanel bag this is the mini rectangle top handle Chanel bag and this is in caviar leather which has been amazing I have not gotten any transfer at the moment which I'm very happy about because white bags can be so scary even the top handle I've managed to keep it clean I am so proud of myself especially with my makeup my foundation when I compare these two bags this is definitely my favorite I love holding the top handle part and then also having the option to just wear the strap which by the way is not detachable it also has a pocket at the back so does the black one as well but the caviar leather makes it so much easier to maintain it even though this one is white I got this one with the white caviar leather and then with the gold hardware and then the other one is in silver and black next up is this bag which has shocked me initially when I got it I felt like it is too formalish for me I felt like it really gives going to work like going to the office it kind of has this briefcase look if you look at it like that 
I feel like it definitely gives going to the office. This is the YSL Sunset Top Handle with smooth leather. You guys will see there are so many different versions of this. There's one without the top handle that just has the chain. This one has the chain and the top handle and the chain is completely detachable so you can remove it if you do not like the chain. And when you open it up, it is a magnetic closure. You have the pocket over here and you have another pocket over there. It fits so much stuff. It is so low maintenance, like the leather on this is so, so, so good. I highly recommend this bag. It's nice and simple. It is a bit of a logo mania because uh, you can literally just see YSL over there. But I think it is so lovely. At the back, you also have a little pocket as well. I love this bag. Absolutely gorgeous very very practical next up is my first dior bag i got the mini lady dior i am really 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 happy with the color that i went for i feel like this is so gorgeous i wanted to get more bags that are black with silver hardware because i feel like i just have so many items with gold hardware if somebody doesn't know the brand it can really just look like a basic normal bag and this bag also comes with a chain, but I really, really love holding it like this as a top handle bag. I also got shoes from Dior. These are the Dior Act sandals in lambskin leather. I love how easy to clean these are. They do come in different colors. I have not worn them yet, so I am not sure how comfortable they are since it is lambskin leather. I have no idea how comfortable they are. And they are giving dad sandal vibes. So if you do not like this look, these are definitely not for you. Last but definitely not least is Rene. This is my second pair. I do have the chandelier ones. I didn't know that Rene Calvella actually has different heel heights. So I wanted a shorter heel and I got the Chloe sandals, the black version. And these are the 80 ones. So this is what they look like. These are shorter than the chandelier ones that I've shown you guys before. So they have the stones over here. Sorry that you guys can see my marks. I've actually worn these shoes out. And I would rate them like a 6 out of 10 or a 5 out of 10 in terms of comfort. They are absolutely stunning. They never fell off or anything, um, this part where you just wrap it around your foot. But they don't have grip over here. So you can see some of the glitter um, is already gone over here. I wore these around three times. One time like completely outside, two times just filming some videos like putting on outfits for um, TikTok. And this is what they look like underneath. I don't feel super comfortable and confident when I'm walking on tiles because they don't really have grip. It's just like this glitter bottom over here. But if it's like a carpet or a textured um, floor, then I definitely feel much more comfortable with these. But they are so, so gorgeous so guys thank you so much for watching today's collective luxury haul i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know which item is your favorite and i'll see you guys in my next video bye